Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you how you can make these rickety old boards for your haunted house or for your picket fence. Um, you can kind of see how this side of the house has been aged. And then the boards. Alright, so let me show you what I did. Okay, so the first thing I did is I got myself some popsicle sticks. A pair of needle nose pliers and a pair of wire cutters. Alright, so if you want to take and have like a split in your board, you would do this first. Then on an angle, you would just kind of pull it off and then it leaves that little split there. You can leave that or you can kind of pull it away and have it look like it's broken that way. Okay. You can peel it back like this. And you can also nip off the end by using the point and just kind of pull it very, very roughly. The next thing is you can kind of just hold it on an angle and snap it and pull it and you get a bigger tear. And then the tears is what gives the wood that rough look. Kind of just go at it a little bit like that and then there you have another rough looking piece of board. You can also kind of nip into that board just a little bit there and you can break off bits and pieces. And then there you have it. The next step is to take some acrylic paint and water it down to where you get this really like watery consistency. Of course, I got a piece of paint on that one. But as you can see, it's very, very runny. Then you wanna go ahead and dip them in there and get them good and wet take a paintbrush or whatever to poke them down, make sure they're good and soaked. All right, so after they're in there, you wanna take it out, get as much of your paint off as you can so that you're not wasting it. Then you wanna bring it over to a paper towel and you wanna blot it. Now, the longer you leave it sit in, the more you're gonna get. Like, this one has been in here for a while. Those ones I just put in there. I've been letting mine sit for at least an hour, but if you want a lot more, you can let it sit overnight. And you can see the difference in just a minute versus, you know, an hour. And then they will dry even lighter. So this one will end up drying almost like it was originally, just with a little bit of black lines in it, and then this one will dry more like these. All right, so here's what I have. I have several different kinds. And I've just broken them all different ways. And this one's a little bit thicker because I used a thicker stick to see what I'd get for the grain. All right. So with that being said, what else, what else can you do with these? Okay, so I took a paint stick and I cut it down on my saw, which you can just buy these in the craft store, but I wanted the rough look. See how I've got the little furs hanging off of it? I'm not sanding that and I'm not doing it on purpose. 
when I put this through my bandsaw, I ended up taking and doing it really fast so that it kind of made it splinter more than if I would have went slow and I let it cut through it. Okay, and again, I did that on purpose. So what you can do is you can take two of them and then you can put your pieces of wood on here, all different ways, of course, and you can make yourself a fence. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You can do some crooked, some straight. And it can kind of look like that. You can use that for your haunted house, your graveyard, whatever you want. Okay, so if you want to ensure that you have perfect spacing in between your top and bottom board, you can get a board or two popsicle sticks or two paint sticks, and you can put it in between it and hold it there as a spacer. Okay, so you can kind of put the fence like that. Or you could put it at your graveyard. It around the edge like this but you get the idea it's a rickety old fence for a graveyard or an old haunted house or whatever you want it to be and then how I would install this is I would draw a hole in the bottom up here and I would put a toothpick in the hole that I drilled and I would glue it then where I wanted to go I would draw a hole in there and I would set it in that way so that the toothpick went down in the hole and held it in place and then you could take it up and down when you want it to and you can make shorter sections um, maybe half this might look more realistic but that's just what I had already cut so that's what I used for the video but anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this will help you with your haunted miniatures this season. And I will see you next video. Thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, question, suggestion, comment below. And check out Dollhouse Tutorials for lots more free printables and tutorials and templates. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.